What is up, you guys, and welcome back to the final episode of Cyberpunk 2077. It has been a long time coming, pretty much over a year at this point I've been playing this game for you guys on this channel, and I don't regret a single moment of it. I've loved this game, I've enjoyed this game so much, and it is the new year. It is currently December 31st as I'm recording this, the end of the year 2023. And so I think with that said, it is finally time to wrap up this series. I have done so much. I've put hours of my heart into this game. One of my favorite games of all time, but I think it's finally time. I think it's finally time to meet Hanako at Embers. So that is what this episode will be. We will finally be getting our ending. So here we go. Also, there's going to be bombs going off in the background because, again, it's New Year's currently and there's fireworks and gunshots galore. So, welcome to my side of town. Ooh, the point of no return. You've reached a point of no return. When you enter the restaurant, you will be locked out of all unfinished side jobs and other activities like gigs until you until all your main jobs are complete. If you have any unfinished business, settle it before meeting with Hanako. While there are a few side gigs, they're, they're all fetch quests. They're all go here, kill that person. Not a lot of substance to them. I don't feel the need to do anything else. I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy to continue the story. So let's go. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. This is so bizarre. So bizarre. God, I feel sick. Don't Me like too. this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. God, I know. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. I know. <laughs> Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. Who? I'm actually like physically getting nervous. This is oh my God, this is the last episode. I can't believe it. I love this game so much. She emptied the place. Shit. <sighs> All right, play it cool, Johnny. It's been a long time coming. Excellent. You have come. Let's get to it. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father, now I knew from the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. Right. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Hmm. Family? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh? Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. 
that it is difficult. Hmm. Mm hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. Huh. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge? Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now that A.B. has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. So what they all keep telling Mina, me. Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do. And one is very near. Where? Here in Night City. Beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Hmm. Oh, didn't mean to sure know, on break it. up my ears. Go on. Talk. My brother. He's you mad. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. I'm careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Hmm. Responsibility. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still dead. Vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Mm. Testify. I don't like the sound of that. Listen, mind if I'm straight with you. Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Uh, sounds risky. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of our Saka top brass? Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamura said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. Hmm. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate, as should you. So... Johnny is stressing. Look at him. He looks kind of good right now, though. Whew. I, I'm still not liking what I'm hearing. This sounds like a lot of benefit for you and a lot of false hope for me. Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. Yeah, I've got but plenty what of those. I am the last? You cannot take that chance. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, it's just, um... You are bleeding. 
Fuck. Hmm. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Ah! I'll think it over. We're not looking good. You could use some air. Right now. Yeah. Agreed. you what, what are you doing oh that's scary be hours from it now v. and you can't stand on your own two feet well I'm good to go body listens to me see what I'm getting at mm. of course I can see want me to hand over the keys I want to save your life Pop some pseudo endo scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Uh huh. How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. <laughs> Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now. I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Socket Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Mikoshi. It's our only chance. It's not our only chance. See, depending how you play, if you're really trashy to Johnny, and he presents this idea to you, Immediately, you're thinking like, oh, he's just trying to take over for himself. But I, my character, I have a really good relationship with Johnny, and I like Johnny. So I, I'm a little more inclined to trust him when he says he'll, he'll take over to help me. Uh, what about Pan Am? What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on Arasaka is just not another convoy to Jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how that ended. And you tried it with pros. Didn't end any fucking better. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hmm. It is a smart idea to ask for her help. And Hanako? Hanako's offers on the table. I'm sorry, who's? Oh God, the yeah. crap. She actually has power, could be our ticket. Yeah, one way ticket to the city morgue. That suck a cunt scrambled your circuits. Rogue and I will handle this. Just like we used to. I understand he has a lot of faith in Rogue, but... Matt, it's my life. Rogue? I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections... Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. Alt cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck <sighs> up that. Great, you checking out again? Uh yeah, it's it's over for us. We're in a bad way. What am I? <sighs> no, it's not what you think. Not yet anyway. Easy the soundtrack. Don't move just yet. Victor. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta-haloperidol. 
But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. Oh, there's Misty and Johnny. My head. Ah! Uh. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. No, oh, feels like. Someone's using your head as a knife block? How. <laughs> How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then, you shoved my patient at the time off the table, and demanded you be treated immediately. Dalamant was your guardian angel. Huh? God. I, uh... Oh, did he hear that? Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up, carefully. Okay. I'll try. Think I'm getting some feeling back. <sighs> Slowly. <sighs> Another victory for the history books. She's trying. Hmm. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Hmm. What do you think I've been doing? Take matters into my own hands. The fuck you think I've been doing? Well, whatever it is, it keeps landing you on my table. Cause I'm dying! Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrys in there. A gift from Misty. Wanna give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff, go silent, get out. <sighs> or find another way, end things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there too, blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. Hmm. You heard him, we've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Johnny. Endotrizine, Rogue, Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle. noodle. Fine. Fine. Just not, just not in this basement. V, uh, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go. Yeah, it's, fix it's this already thing. happening. Think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. I genuinely do think Johnny, in this moment, is trying to help us. But I also think with him trying to help us, he also wants that last moment to have like one last mission with Rogue, and that's why he's pushing it. Like he's thinking, oh, I'll kill two birds with one stone, I'll have it. I'll have my, my redemption with Rogue, and I'll be able to save my friend. And I genuinely do think, like, we have a good relationship with him. He does see us as someone he cares about. We've had plenty of conversations about that. He's had plenty of times to take over our body. Instead, he's done the opposite. He's sworn that he'd try to save us. If he wanted to, you saw the way he took control of us in the elevator. If he wanted to already, he would've. I understand why he's pushing it. He wants one last moment to make things right for himself before he has to go. But man, it's it's still scary for V, you know? Vic. I'm gonna miss you, man. Say, 
who won the bout? Oh, so you heard that. Did he get up? Walsh, was it? No, never does. Meaning? It's a rerun. One I'd like to go back to. Why'd you get so mad, then, if you already knew who won? Oh, no, really. Guess I like to think about where Walsh might have tripped up. Any theories? Entering the ring against a stronger opponent, but feels a little strange to call that a mistake. Hmm. Are they alluding to something with that? Victor, I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> thank you for everything. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Can I, like, pat him on the shoulder or something, Victor? <laughs> you were there for my boxing tournament. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. This is it. This is really it. Hey, v, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Hmm. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. Let me mm. guess. My aura's sputtering? Mm-hmm. Afraid so. All right, let's get my chakras aligned. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Ooh, we are slow, slow right now. <sighs> It's so surreal to be at the point of no return in this game. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Mm. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumba's on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? Hmm. I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Okay. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy to be here. End of the game. It's bittersweet. With my thoughts. You're on unachievable these days. It's beautiful. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. She's so sweet. She's so considerate. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. 
Sorry. No, still here. For now. You know, you should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Oh, man. Okay, first difficult decision. The thing is... I'm already certain... I'm pretty certain... about the ending that I want to go for. And with that in mind... And even just with my character in mind. It seems cruel to call either one of them. I don't know, it's just... It just, it feels weird to call them and give them like a good, I wish I could call both of them. It feels, it feels sad that I kind of have to pick and choose who my favorite person is, River or Judy. But either way, it just... I don't know. I'm certain with the ending that I think I want to go for. And because of that, Goodbyes are not my style. Nah, not really my style. Goodbyes. You do you. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats, but then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Yeah, it's a bit of a lose-lose. I don't want to ask Pan Am for help. It seems like, a, oh yeah, my, my bestie Pan Am and her, her gang of people it's not fair. We're not... They say we're part of the nomads. We, they say that we're one of them. But... We're not as close... Like, we're not in the family. We don't live with them. We haven't spent years with each other. It seems selfish to ask these people who are... Who on, who on their own are already kind of struggling to survive out there in the Badlands to put their own lives at risk and definitely risk the lives of a lot of their people just for a chance to save our lives. And I know Pan Am would be on it. She she loves us. She cares about us. She would be full throttle. Let's go try to do whatever we can to save your life. But it just doesn't feel right. It feels very selfish to ask that of her. Because I know she'll do it. And I know it'll get a lot of people killed. I don't want to trust Arasaka. Because... Why would I? As a street kid, as my story, that makes no sense to, in the end, trust a giant corporation. Especially after all the choices that we've made in this game. To side with the big corporation now, this doesn't make any sense. I know the ending I want to go for. And that's not Johnny and Rogue either. So I'm gonna wait a little while. And then we're gonna get the we're gonna get the secret ending. And that's the one I wanna go for. I wonder if I can yeah, I can't quick save right now. So the ending that I wanna go for, it's actually on a time limit. 
I think you have to wait about five minutes in game before you finally get to make the choice. So I'm just gonna talk it out. This is my, my one chance where I can actually yap a bit. But I will say, I think you and Rogue should go first. Think you ought to go with Rogue. Two of you together got the best shot. And it's not going to set anything in stone. Sure. No going back on this, you know. Am I sure? Oh, need a minute to think. Just hold on a minute. Need to think. Because I think if I wasn't doing the secret ending, for sure I would do Johnny and Rogue. I think it'd be nice to give him that last bit of closure that he needs. One last... One last gig to kind of tie everything up for himself. I think that's fair to him. But again, secret ending. I don't, maybe some of you guys don't even know that this is an option. If not, then that's super cool. I can't, I can't wait to be able to show you guys something new. But I'm pretty sure I've done everything I've needed to to be able to unlock it. So I just have to wait it out. And another reason, I feel like I need to justify myself a bit. Another reason I didn't call R River or Judy is that it just feels like another way to string them along. Like, we're dying. If we give them one, like, one heartfelt good goodbye, then they're gonna, they're gonna cling to that. That's really gonna haunt them. I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. But it feels better to just kind of leave things on a good note and not on a I'm sorry things could have things didn't work out differently. It was always you. Like it just doesn't feel necessary. Judy's already been through horrible stuff in her life. River and also Judy wants to be free of Night City. She wants to move. She wants to leave. I'm not going to take that away from her. I'm not going to have her cling to the idea that I still need her. Kind of tough deciding which of your friends get to die, isn't it? Yep. Good news is you got this one Chum who's already dead. Here we go. And he'd be honored to join you on a wild suicide run. You, me, and Arasaka Tower. Kind of sounds like a Eurydine lyric, I know, but trust me. We'll go fucking Nova. Whew, this is it. Can I quick save this at least? Oh, I can't. So another thing about this ending, the reason I'm so frantic about quick saving, is in this ending, it is, it is like permadeath. Not like permadeath. It's not going to start you at the beginning. It's not going to delete your save file. But it will start you. There's no quick saving once you get to this ending. Like, you, you have to have zero deaths. You can't, you can't restart at a checkpoint. Let's hear the plan. This plan. What would it entail, exactly? Plan? Well, might be how Rogue operates. I say you grab the hottest iron you can find, stride in the tower's front door, and cut your own path down to the lower levels. Love it. If Makoshi's deep underground like Hanako claims it is, you'll just have to find the elevator. Hmm. I, this ending, this route, I think it's perfect for the character that I've created. I, I love it. Main's going out with a bang. I like it. If I gotta die, rather fall into my grave gun in hand and on fire. Not drag anyone down with me. Mm-hmm. Huh. You just discovered what it takes to become a legend. Grab your iron. Let's mobilize. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Time to party like it's 2023. Yes! Oh my god. Here we go, here we go. It's starting. Time to party like it's 2023. I love that. Closing the gap. Careful. This is their house. Got a game plan all polished and rehearsed. Hit confirmed. Oh, you're 
you're still alive? Golly, I thought you were dead. Okay, bit of a rough start. <laughs> Okay, I'm shaking, I'm nervous, oh my god, there's no quick saving. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ooh, knock me down. Put that sand ever stand to use. This is what it's for. When the first tower went up in smoke. Labs were underground. Elevators, what we want. Well, that's right. Let's do it. Oh, Just me and Johnny. It's an access token. Of course Need it does. Need to find a guard with some chops. <laughs> He'll have our access token. On it. <laughs> Oh, there's more. Good looking out. Oops. Who am I fighting right now? Hold your fire! Oh gosh. Those guys. Keep firing! on her! So far, so good. Whew. Okay. Got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. down! I know your job is not worth this right now. Okay. 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 So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's go. I'm starting to think this plan wasn't batshit crazy after all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's dip, let's dip. Oh, we're glitching on, out, we're dying. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no thank you, no thank you. No thank you. Net run operations control. Sounds like a good place to run a mega facility from. Oh, and we're another thing. Right there. See how she settles in. I'd expect a very warm welcome down below if I were you. Good. Before going out, it better be with fucking fireworks. Gonna be an ambush, no doubt. Just focus. You're better than them. I love I'm doing this on in New Year's. The last year, the last day of 2023. Another thing about the about this ending is your health is constantly going down. And you can't recover at all. Motherfuckers got no love for foreplay. Brace yourself, B. Okay. She died. So open it. Put that 20 strength to use. Thank you, Who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? You can come here too. Who are you shooting at? Oh man. We can do this. We can do this. No problem. Enemy contact. I'm engaging. Don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. Value your life. Fuck. This is the end. Go, go, go. Who else? Who else? Access token. Do I need to use this? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh god, I wasted time. Oh, I have to defeat them all first. There's some people still alive. Oh! 
God, the door's not opening. I think it glitched out. I need shit. Whew. Not good. Not good. Come on. Okay, now can I go? Maybe if I can. Go, go, go! Yeah, it's counting one enemy behind the wall that's glitching this thing out. So let me. Woo! There he is. Somebody pop a bullet in the There you are. Whew, man. Hey, over here. There it is. Oh my god, that could have been no the enemy. It sure looks like the tower's mainframe to me. Yes, we just see what happens when we jack all in. I'm constantly losing health. You can't you can't glitch out on me like that. <laughs> Man. I lost so much time trying to figure that out. Okay, jump down then. Oh <coughs> god! Don't do that. Whew, man. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Finally remember to use grenades. With your hands in the air. Open fire! I don't think I will. Uh, no. 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 Oh gosh. Oh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do I need to keep taking these keys? God, look at my health already. It's not getting any better. All right. Not exactly seeing any slots. The frame's under the floor, most likely. Need to find a way to eject it. Nah. Like a goddamn adventure game. Yippee! <laughs> okay, what are, we, what are we looking for? Time limit, time limit, time limit. Anything here? Superior soul. Ugh! Turb, think you can use it? Oh, this? I'll find out. Damn, could really use you right now, Spider. Mm-hmm. This what we're looking for? <laughs> we'll see. It's just you and me, Johnny. Oh my god, I love this so much. The dream team. Me and the voice in my head. Uh, here we go. Okay, and? And now we fight some more. Oh, here we go. Kill or be killed. Man, get the health up. Someone's still trying to get me? She attacked me. You are. Yeah, I attacked you. You're shooting at me. Hello? That's the slot. Let's make Alt at home. Sure hope your ex output performs as advertised. Look on my works, ye mighty, in despair. <laughs> He's loving this. I am in control. Person personnel neutralized. The path to Mikoshi lies open. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. 
Don't have to tell me twice. Runners have stormed the tower's systems. Stopping their advance is my priority. Continue on your way alone. I've cleared a path, but you must hurry. An elite security unit is following you. Okay. We can do this. Alt! You here? What's with the door? Get that, I wanna get that door open. Don't strain yourself now. Oh, my heart's racing. This is, this is tough. <laughs> my god he came running i'm out of here <laughs> oh, i should have hold on i can i can do i can get some hits in no problem no problem no problem i'm out of here i'm out of here sorry 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 man they definitely made him tougher after the update. Or after Phantom Liberty and all that. Pull up. Get your inhaler, V. I finally know the right button. Yeah, my son never stands faster. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, I'm scared. I see you standing there. Come here. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Survival favors the strong. Oh, he's still bleeding. Nice. What's he doing? What's he do? Oh. Oh, is he glitched? Struggle if you wish. Oh, dude, he's glitched. <laughs> oh no. You spare. Oh, is he okay? Oh no, <laughs> this feels like cheating. All right, so apparently it is auto saving for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back because that actually feels too unfair. I feel like I'm doing the game an injustice if I if I exploit this glitch. So I have to go back and fix it. I'm sorry. I I it can't I can't let it be that easy. That feels so wrong, and it's saying it's it's auto save for me. I don't know how far that's gonna set me back. But, oh my gosh. Ooh, it, it felt too wrong. Okay, okay, it's just gonna start us from here. Sick. Alt! You here? Okay. I'm it's happy with, the with door. that. Okay, let's do it. Don't strain yourself. Oh man, I have to restart the whole fight. Here we go. Here we go. Smasher. One last glitch for Cyberpunk 2077. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I'm not upset about it at all. This it's taking taking us back to our roots, you know? Alright, come here. Come here. Come here. Fair and square. Now I'm out of here. Where is he? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's happening. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Heal 
up. Oh. Jump, jump, dude! Don't glitch out over here now. Survival favors the strong. You spend Survival favors the glitches. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's oh no 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 thank you. No thank you. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Struggle if you wish. Come on. Okay, we're halfway there. Halfway there. What are you doing? This is beyond you. What are you doing? Oh no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. Where is Rogue? Wanting no part of this raid, the old tut. Once I finish this, I'll hunt her down. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many up there. Where is he? Some health. Where is he? I can't even find him. Oh my gosh. Gosh. You won't last long. Finish her. Stop it. Please don't. Please don't. <coughs> oh my <coughs> god. Rip your brain from your skull. Come on, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <coughs> Oh my god, we did it. Johnny Silverhand sends his regards. Are you fucking with me now? He's got a point, V. Shut up and finish him. Be done with it. down Johnny's arch enemy. Gotten good, I guess. <laughs> Damn, it feels nice. <laughs> oh my god, we actually did it. We actually did it. We got our tarot card. How does it feel, Johnny? You and me, who would have thought? Oh, my heart. <laughs> it was getting dicey. All right, we got this.
Come on, V. We've made it this far. Let's get us there. <sighs> I can't. Ooh. We saw this fun. place in a dream. Find the access point in the center of the room. You must connect to it. Then submerse yourself in coolant. I will be waiting. How you feeling, Johnny? Come on, not much further to go. I got it. Come on, V, you got this. Don't know how, but it worked. See you on the other side. Hey, Kitty. We made it. Made it somewhere. That's where it all started. Let us go then. You and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. We made it. We did it. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> did it somehow. I did it, Johnny. Despite it all, somehow I did it. Devised a solid plan and pulled it off. That's you. Well done. I'm sorry. Not sure I quite caught that. Then wash out your ears, dumbass. Is this it? The infamous prison of souls? Not how I remember it. Adult wasn't running the show back then. So where are all of Soul Killer's victims? Fuck if I know. 
We only see what Alt wants us to see. Hmm. When do we start? So, when do we start? Haven't caught on yet, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. <sighs> Too bad. Too bad. Johnny could have used someone like you by his side. Strong words from a fellow construct stuck in the same Arasaka prison. Wait, what? You mean to say I'm an engram? Uh-huh. Same as me. Got any more jokes? Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me. Exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer her psyche back into her brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. Mm. I mean, we kind of knew that was always going to happen, right? Isn't that what Alt said? When we went to... Went through the Black Bowl with the Voodoo Boys? And it's not much of a surprise. You two still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. <sighs> it's never easy, is it? We can never catch a break. Are you absolutely sure? Check again. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt. Give us a minute. V and I need to talk. Ah, so that's that. Gonna die anyways. It's not like we have any more options. I mean, we saw how we were before we plugged in. We're actively dying. Everything, all, all, all we did, it was pointless. I have had enough of this, of everything. You most of all. Perfect, because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall, to become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Mm. It's dangerous beyond the Black Wall. What's it like beyond the Black Wall? Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind, at least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just till we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. I don't 
don't want that for him. Jesus. To be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife. Really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations. From the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No. Be left with fading memories. Of sharing a bed. Head splitting hangovers. Sea breeze on my face. Sun's heat on my shoulders. So no. take back your life. The six months you've got left. It's just six months. I gotta have other options. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know, uh... A happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. Yep. He had the right to make a choice you have earned. Through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. It's tough. This is a really tough decision. And I know there's a lot of people that are very hard line, like, oh, this is the right choice, that's the right choice. It's tough. There is, to me, there is no right choice right now. Like, keep in mind, Johnny has become our friend through this whole, through this whole thing. At least the way I've played, we've become incredibly close. Like, we, we've had conversations where we talked about how we equally give our lives for one another. And that's, that's not something to take lightly. So me getting to decide each other's fate, not just my fate, it's not just my fate I'm taking into my own hands, it's Johnny's. It, we've gotten so close to Johnny. Like, Im like, imagine if it were Jackie. Would V give up her life to save Jackie? Would V give up her life to save Johnny? I guess it depends on how you play. How I played, I meant what I said. We've grown together a lot. We've shared a mind together. Alt, if you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What does that mean for me, exactly? Am I gonna become like you? As a netrunner, you will find your way through a materially limitless world. Beyond the black wall, dangers lurk. It is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? <laughs> Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. <sighs> Fading memories aside, let's look back on it. Before the Phantom Liberty DLC, I was very certain on what choice I would have made if it if it came to this point. Or when it came to this point. And after the Phantom, Liber Phantom Liberty DLC, it kind of shook what I thought was the right thing to do. Uh, it shook what I, I thought made sense to me at the time. Because I appreciated Songbird's 
determination to live. Her, her primary goal was survival. And that kind of, that started to resonate with me. And I, I see the parallels with V. I really do. Her and V, they were both, they're both struggling to survive. They're both fighting for the one goal of seeing another day. But here's the thing. It's also very different. And I, I, I thought about this a lot. Songbird is fighting to live. She was fighting to live. She, she finally got her, she got her wish in the end. We gave that to her. She was fighting to be free, to be able to make her own choices, to be able to actually live her life, to do things that she's proud of, to have experiences. That was all robbed of her from a very young age, for far longer than, than what V's had to endure these past few months. So that's, that's where it differs. Because in V's case, while she's been fighting to survive, she's also gotten to live. She's fallen in love. She's helped people. She's gotten to make, she's climbed her way up the ladder. She's made these huge choices, these, these decisions that impact a lot of people. That's living. V has gotten those experiences. V's lived way more life in this pa these past few months than anyone could ever hope to dream of. So that's why I'm saying V and Songbird's struggles, they kind of diverge at that. Because Songbird, she's still trying to find what it is to be alive. V, I think we've kind of found that along the way. So that need to survive, maybe that's kind of evolved over time. I do still want to give my body to Johnny. And in this moment, not counting all the other possibilities, if I choose to live out my life, what could happen, who could offer what to us, V doesn't know that. We don't have any idea what could happen as her. As far as we're concerned, we just have six months to deteriorate as we have been doing right now. And it's only gonna get worse until we die. As far as V's concerned, I think it would make the most sense to give the body to Johnny. And I know a lot of people might protest that. They might say, that's, oh, that's, that's a bad ending. That's a bad decision to make. You're, you're essentially giving up. I don't see it that way. Johnny's story in this game has been just as important as V's story has been. If not more complex, more, more well-written and thought out. Johnny is an equal in this game. We've gotten to play as him. We've gotten to hear his story. We've gotten to, we get to make decisions on his behalf. He is a part of us. He is just as much of a main character as V is. And then you might also say, oh, well, Johnny got to live out his life already. Johnny made his decisions. He, he got to, he died, he suffered his consequences. He already got to live. So did V. V died the second that heist went wrong at Compeki Plaza. She got shot. She also played stupid games, won stupid prizes. She messed around, she found out. We both died. We both got our second chance. Th that's our parallel. We both got to discover what it meant to live in these few months. Johnny had an extreme change of heart, extreme character development. V finally got to live out, falling in love, becoming, becoming a legend in Night City, especially with the ending that we just chose of going in alone and storming Arasaka Tower. That's gonna be talked about. That is legend. And I also think it's really funny because V has been striving, the way I've been playing her, she's been striving for the quiet life. It's all she's wanted. She was wanted to make a bunch of cash, get out of Night City, live her life. And Johnny, he's only wanted to be remembered as a legend. 
as this, this great force of nature that's gonna go down in history for all eternity. We've both had rude awakenings since then. V was never going to have the quiet life, and Johnny, he's just becoming another page in the Night City history book that's being slowly forgotten and starting to fade away. And I think it's just a beautiful sense of irony that V's actually been able to fulfill Johnny's dream for him by being the one to storm Arasaka Tower, to actually put a dent in it to actually tear it apart from the inside just on her own that force of nature that Johnny has always strived to be and can never quite get there he needed help V she did it all on her own and he got to witness it she fulfilled his dream I think it's only fair now that Johnny has to live out V's dream for her I think, I think that ties it up. I think that's full circle. It's the least he can do. We said we'd die for each other. I meant it. Body's Johnny's. What I told you at the Pista, Sophia. We stick to that. I'll go. You stay. Turning your back on the problem again? And of course he's going to argue about it. That's how that's how he confronts these things. He doesn't he's not going to beg you to live your life. He's going to confront you. He's going to call you a coward. That's just how he is. He doesn't know any other way to say it. He wants to live. We all want to live. He can deny it all he wants. He, he's grown along with us. Who cares if he's an engram? We're an engram too now. What's it matter? We're both Arasaka technology. What? A little guilt creeps in and that's that? You give up? It's not giving up. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> Gonna just roll over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommiss yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? It's not about that. I get what he's going through. It is my decision. Let me make it. Let me make it, man. He's lost people. I get it. He doesn't want to lose another. I've lost people, too. We don't always get what we want. If it was Jackie I was fi fighting for... I would have sacrificed my life for him, too. He's my friend. You're my friend. It's just how it's gonna be. But I'm just gonna waste away and die in a withered body? What kind of Your life is that? Grant you that. But damn it, are you dense. Haven't changed a bit since we met. I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start anew, even if I don't know what that means. I bet it'd be good for you, too. Start anew. I like that. I like V's mindset for that. V, I'm just... I'm just scared for you. There it is. That's the truth. It's all it comes down to. I'll see you around, Johnny. We 
did what we came here to do. I lived out your dream, now live out mine. And I genuinely believe Johnny's able to find his own happiness now. He's grown so much. I'd love to see what he does with his life. this game we can't always get what we want I'm carrying too much. Hmm. Fuck. Don't think I'll ever get used to this. And that's that. <laughs> Job complete. I am very happy with my choice. As a player, I care about Johnny a lot. And as the character V, I do care about Johnny still a lot. I'd like that he'd be able to properly live out his second everything. chance. Hmm. New Dawn fades. The order is ready to be collected. Oh gosh, look at our text. Victor. Hey kid, haven't seen in a while. Too busy for your old ripper up here in them big leagues because this ripper's got some new toys you might want to check out. Swing on by and see for yourself. See, they don't even know what happened to us. I guess Johnny wouldn't tell them. I don't know how much time has passed. But as far as they're concerned, we're up in the big leagues. We took out Arasaka. We're still a legend. Mama Wells says, Hi V, how are you? It's been a while. Stop by for dinner sometime, okay? Are you getting these messages? Please call me V. I'm starting to get worried all. Misty, hey V, something happened? Hello? Shit, got a pack too. And I gotta stop talking to you, V. Force a habit. Hmm. What is that? When Jove disposed to lay aside the weight of public empire and the cares of state. 
As to his queen and nectar bowls, he, qua he quaffed. In troth, he said, as he spoke, he laughed. The sense of ple pleasure in the male is far more dull and dead than what you females share. Juno, the truth of what was said, denied. Teresias, therefore, must the cause decide. For he the pleasure of the sex had tried. Huh. Tender dame to know whether her child would reach old age or no, consults the sage Tersias, who replies, If e'er he knows himself, he surely dies. Long live the dubious mother in suspense, till time unriddled all the prophet's sense. Hmm. I think I have this glitch where there's like smoke coming up out of the screen. I don't know why. But I can look past it. Why so many candles? These faces above me. No more harm shall ever, ever meet my body. Everyone is standing while here alone I lie. Grieving, fiending, one must be true when one must die. And so, buried under these wreaths of leaves I lie. Solemnly, agelessly, solitarily. Death gone silent once again rushes to my head, though by now I know my comprehension is dead. How I loathe to become accustomed to this grave, to be what I once was, that is all I crave. Johnny's feeling a little depressed. It makes sense. I understand. He's lost another friend. But it's V's choice. Still gotta respect that. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. And I, as the player, I'm happy knowing that Johnny is alive. Like, I'm fine with that. I, I really enjoy Johnny as a character. I like to see him be able to live out that second chance that I gave him. And it might seem really anticlimactic to see him in this dingy little apartment. But of course it's going to be like that at first. He lost someone who is very close to him. They sacrificed themselves for him. Of course he's going to be down in the dumps about it. Who wouldn't? He needs time. He needs to reflect. Doesn't mean it's bad. <sighs> v. That's us. Not much, but I'm all right with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Hmm. Steve. It's Richard Knight. I built this fucking city. Open up. Hey. Hey, guy. Mm. He's got What's V up, shirt. Because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen genius. Hmm. Got the shivers first time I played it. But gets kind of lame further in. Oh, Johnny took in a kid. That's nice of him. You've been practicing? So what's up? Been practicing those chord progressions. Hey, look at you. Yeah, 
but I keep botching them. Doubt I'll ever play it smooth. Hmm. That's hardly important. You know, you don't have to be the next Linda Oz. I don't? No. Gotta hit the right notes, mostly. But also gotta play from the heart. Folks want feeling in their music, wanted to say something. Couldn't care less about technique. Been working on another song. Want to hear it? Later, maybe. Kinda in a hurry now. How do you get those bruises? Bet you didn't get that shiner all by yourself. Um... Old man? Yeah, forgot to wake him up. He was late getting to work. I mean, guess I kinda deserved it. Oh, of course not. You forgot. It happens. No reason to hit ya. Hmm. What about you? What's up? Need wheels and a good driver for the day. Couple things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wigs out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hmm. Hey, wow. so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? Keep you playing. Don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Won't hurt a Going bit. out. Work harder. Where? So I says, uh, I'm already working just shit. out for a sec. Yep. Be back soon. Back inside, now. I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? Ain't nobody oh, fuck's sake. You swipe my hey. keys again? Inside. Now, you shit. Leave, Leave him alone, alone and, and watch that her. tone. Get the fuck out of my face. Think I'm scared? You're another bum like the rest of us. Wanna try me? Go ahead. I don't have time for this shit. Yeah, sit down. <sighs> oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Who the hell's like that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Probably a yapper. Goddamn corpse want us shaking in our shorts. 24-7. My Steve started talking to her. Now he bangs on that damn guitar night and day. Better whip that boy in line. Oh my gosh. Like, that... It makes sense why Johnny took on mentoring this kid. Because from what I've read, Johnny's father was exactly the same way. I mean, he sold, he sold his son for a pack of cigarettes once. I'm pretty sure this kid definitely resonates with Johnny. I get it. The Grand Imperial oh, man. He was shaking like you were going to wipe him. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that. Ha! <laughs> you kidding? I... I wish something bad had happened to him. Hop in. Hmm. Yeah, he... He definitely sees himself in this kid. It's nice of him to actually take on Wish I could drop looking on after myself. someone. Want to be strong like you? You will be down the line. Though, sure hope you'll see he's not worth any skin off your knuckles. How come? Because you'll realize how weak he is. And it'll hurt. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You oh. a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Love him. Yeah, I like him. Carrie's alright. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains. Especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. There you go. The real deal always has been. In every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Hmm. Not the easiest gig. Don't forget, it's not the easiest gig. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. Gotta work hard, practice. To start, sure. But it only gets harder after that. The critics, the haters, non-stop pressure. Bad shit, crazy lifestyle. It can chew you up. Better have something to fall back on. What? Something. Anything that pays the bills. You'll never grow desperate. Desperate's not a good place to be. The music's in you anyway. It's like blood. It'll always be there. Ha! <laughs> Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. Sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Prem. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. Kinda don't really know what to write about. Hmm. Write the truth. Be honest. Only ever write the truth. Especially when it comes to your feelings. I don't get how I could lie about my feelings. Don't write love songs if you're not head over heels. Don't write sad sack shit just because you think there's beauty in sadness. Um, uh, okay. When something really hits you in the gut, that's when you sit down and write. Truth so loose. Good advice. Sometimes music's the only way to grasp it. That's really good advice. That's how I write my poems. <laughs> I've written some songs before too. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's exactly what I do. Wow. Where are we right now? We started out in I think it was Pacifica. Here we go. We have arrived. Preem. Hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. Yeah, I wanna I wanna keep this kid with us. I don't trust Night City. You stick with me, kid. Come on. Probably nothing new, but we'll see. This guy is everywhere. What are we looking at? Oh, how do I how do I get this? Give me a break. Dear Don Chrome, rare edition. Looks like shit, sounds like shit, feels like shit. Hmm. Like you really want to go acoustic? Yeah, want to play something real. Who's going to play without any power? Why not? Good luck with that. Hmm. Nothing wrong with acoustic. You could get acoustic electric. Not that bad. Man, they don't make real music no more. All you get today is... Plastic, half-chewed robot scop. Or shit from a sapin who's not far off a robot. Preach, to Real music's dead. Every, every, every decade, someone's always saying that same thing. Oh, there's us. Still play? Record? Mm, just samples these days. Market's gone into the Gannick sounds. We then we have the guy who transcends labels. There you go. Oh, Market's parceled out. I would have loved shit. to see his new album in here no somewhere. Way break out above the surface on your own. <laughs> Don't rub Night me. City strippers shouldn't be on the same shelf as Neon Haze. I'd rearrange all this. 
You should work here. Point Break, Candy's new single? Who even listens to this scop? That's what I want to know. Hmm. What can I do for you? Uh, heard Carrie Uridine pops, pops by, by once in a while. Best music story in Night City. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? No, but... Got a feeling I'm about to find out. I don't snoop on customers. Don't keep no record. And I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Hmm. Looking to buy a guitar. Looking for a six-string electric. Feast your eyes. I want something solid and true. What? And they're not? Cheap clunkers made out of shit plywood that itself was made out of unseasoned veneers. Still playable. Just gotta know how. Rattle on the low E, cause the next boat. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Most important things, the pickups. Guitar's gotta have something decent there. Don't give half a fuck how it looks. Okay. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, oh, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. All right. I'm coming too. All right, good. Sure. Stay in my sight. Something. How's this? Whoa! To the Fucking right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. I like this kid. I really do. To lose Orphean. Not a fake. Take a good look. Relax, just, just making sure. sure. Looks authentic, well maintained. Must be around shit, 70? 90 and still going strong. Fretboard's pure organic ebony. Hmm. They're pretty. It looks like Johnny's guitar. Just different color. Tensor Paradise. This is this a replica? Real as you or me. Gotta be over a hundred years old. Double, Double humbucker, humbucker, neck screwed in, not glued. A beauty. Classic. Perfectly balanced, too. Barely needs holding. That's pretty. May I? Of course. Strum away. Best day ever. Aww. I'm gonna let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Man, I like that Johnny's kind of taking this kid under his wing. I also think it's no coincidence that he has the same shirt as V in the beginning. It makes me wonder if Johnny went back to V's apartment, got some of her clothes, gave this shirt to him. That, that, that'd be nice. I'd like to think that. He's doing some good. Never ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught. Made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Hmm. Practice and you will too. Practice, Practice every day and, day and you'll play, play like, like that, that. Maybe, maybe better. better. You can mm -hmm. learn anything, I promise. Uh, I don't know. I can learn a few riffs by heart, but it'll only ever be performing, never next gen. Good, Good point. That's, That's why, why it's, it's better, better to invent your own jam. That's, That's what practice is for. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? 
You don't think so? What, what don't, don't think, think you're any good? A little self-criticism self is useful. But, but believing in what, what you've got, got, that's much more important. A real rocker boy. Doubt that'll be me, ever. Come no, on, have no faith. faith. I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Uh -oh. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. Hmm. In time, you'll learn who you really are. What you really want from the world. I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. <laughs> Thanks. I like you too. Huh. You're all, all right, right, kid. Gonna play some more? Nah, short, short on time. Let's, Let's pay. pay. Delta, Delta out of here. He's so cute. I like this kid. And? I'll take it. Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No, no. thanks. Here you go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some biz to take care of. All right. All right, let's go. Let's Delta. Come on, child. Oh, he running. All right. Let's roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. That was perilous future. Mm. My dad says there's gonna be another cope war. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Hmm. I don't know. I don't wanna scare him. Won't be another war, don't worry. Arasaka's a lot weaker than they let on. I hate the corpse. Me too. They squeeze you till your eyeballs pop, but it's never enough. They gotta rip each other's spines out, too. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. Hmm. I like driving through here. It's nice. City looks... Alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's, it's like we created, created a monster, monster and never even noticed, noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's monster, you mean. Know what? You're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never, never noticed. noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead. I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Hmm. 
Nice pendant. Looks good on you. Hmm. It's not mine. Not actually mine. So whose is it? Belonged to a woman I knew. Crazy as fuck. And now I'm here. In her place. She dead? Mm, this piece of lead killed her. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Hmm. Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. He's such a sweet kid. I I wouldn't want to leave him out here by himself, though. Not at all. It does seem really calm out here, though. To Lucius Ryan. Oh, that was the the guy running for mayor. Didn't we just see him in Dogtown? A great man of the people. Jackie Wells. Good night, sweet prince. Man, they're gonna make me go through all our losses. Michael Maeda. Eh. She could go. <laughs> I don't care about that one. Uh, Arthur Jenkins, committed to the corporation, loyal until the very end. What an atrocious thing to put on your gravestone. Committed to the corporation? That's it? That's all, that's all they gotta say about you? Man, I think Jenkins is someone you meet in the... Corpo backstory for V as well. Huh? Uh, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca from the anime. Wow. I regret not finishing our conversation. <sighs> hey, you. Pilar, Dario, Dorio, and Maine. You were the only family I ever had. Oh. They're also from the Edge Runners anime. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely what are you watch doing? it. Well, I guess that kind of spoils things, actually. So, oops. Sorry if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, let me look over here first. Uh, Robert John Linder, that's us. That's Johnny's real name. Uh, son of a bitch who never gave up. A legend among legends. Alt Cunningham, never fade away. Oh. I wonder who who put up the niche for Johnny. Either Rogue or Carrie. Roy Batty. All these memories will be lost in time like tears in rain. That's Blade Runner. Uh, Sid Mead, creator of Worlds. Maybe that's a developer. Jason Albury, father, husband, brother, son. Soar high in cyberspace. Another developer, I'm sure. Ryan Adam Webb, I'm a rocker boy. Nick Ford, beloved friend, brother, and a good man. He was taken too soon. Antonio Perales, beloved friend and brother. Andrew Ray Wayland, he tried to shape reality at a lethal cost. David Martinez, you didn't take me to the moon, but you were there with me. <laughs> oh no! Another Edge Runners. Oh god. Gloria Martinez, you were right. David reached the top of Arasaka Tower. Man. Uh, is there any others before I go to where I need to be? I guess not. <sighs> v. Can't carry.
carry this around anymore, you know? Can't keep wallowing. Can't keep obsessing over what happened. Couldn't forget you anyway. I'm wearing your goddamn face. Hmm. Time to move on. Live your life. It's what I want. It's what V wants. Thanks for... Well, for everything. I'm wiser now. And I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye. Good. Don't waste it. Man. It's gotta be tough for him. It makes sense why he hasn't reached out to anyone. Why he's been laying so low. And also because V's probably a wanted person right now. Her face is probably everywhere. After what she did to Arasaka. Where to now? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey what's, what's this? this? Want one? Give all that up. So should you. Bad for your body. Bad for your soul. Where to now? Hmm. Hmm. I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? She. And not that long ago. You miss her? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm. Make sure you get in the car, okay, kid? <sighs> Take care of yourself, Ben. This game. I can't believe this is it. I still suck. I know. Yeah, we've we've been through so much. I am happy with this though. I really am. Stop the bus! Hey! Get off! Wait! Oh, we gave him the guitar. The guitar! You forgot your guitar! No, I didn't. Oh. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will.
Don't waste his second chance. I am very hopeful for him. And I, I won't repeat myself either. I'm very happy Nathan, with my ending. I know you're a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? I know I wanted to tell you I'm, I'm cooking a supper on Sunday for Jackie's birthday. Polly's favorite food. <laughs> Chilaquiles, tamales. If I could get some real corn, oh, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care of it. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. <laughs> for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, girl. I'm happy for her. Hello, V. How are things? Yeah, no, I haven't Either seen in her in so long. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. Alright, well... Talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hmm. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. I love you Mitch. Get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now. But remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting her on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering. How you feel about that, Johnny? Having another person give their life for you. Uh, he doesn't Especially feel great. Probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid she was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. 
Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. That's not fair. Hey, B, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. The voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. What did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Bye! Bye. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote oh, to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai. So I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Kusama. Hey, it's Paravas. B, you're gonna want to hear this. But first, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Hmm. He's paranoid. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to delete this message. I feel bad for him. Hey, V. Sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy woman and everything. But, well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh, dear. The hanged man. The magician. The star. Those... Those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. There's something like death, but... Not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... I hope to hear from you soon. The Hanged Man, the Magician, and the Star. We lose that could just be another form of rebirth. I know my tarot. That doesn't have to be a bad thing. I mean, it's uncertainty for sure. <sighs> Man, we made it. The end of the game. I'm, I'm a little bit in disbelief right now. It hasn't fully sunk in. I've spent a year playing this game with you guys. And I'm so grateful to everyone who's... You sat with me, watched a minute, ten minutes, the whole series. I genuinely do appreciate it. And thank you so much. What an incredible game. I know not everyone's going to be happy with my decisions in the end. I know, I know I might even get some flack for not calling Judy. But look at how happy she is in this end. A she's she's gotten what she wants. She's gotten to leave. She's happy. She doesn't have to cling for us. She doesn't have to cling to hoping that we come back. I feel like the best thing we could have done is let her go in that instance. And the same for River. 
I'm, I'm very happy with this. And it leaves me very hopeful for Johnny. Just because he's in a depressed state right now doesn't mean he's not going to get out of it. He said he's going to get out of it. He said he won't waste his new life. I believe him. And what Rogue said to him, I don't think it was fair. She didn't get to see how much he grew through all this time. Said what you had to say, but I think of beauty. I love this song. Honestly, this is my favorite game of all time. I don't think anything can ever top this. Not even Baldur's Gate, which has stolen my life from me as of late. Cyberpunk will always have a place in my heart. It really will. Like everything about this game, it's inspired me. The characters I've fallen in love with, Johnny has Johnny, I don't think you can even understand how much I adore Johnny as a character. Another reason why I let him live is because I enjoy him so much. I want his story to keep going. As much as I love V, I love Johnny as a character. Like I said, he's reminded me of people that I knew in the past that I hoped started from where he was at his lowest and had hoped to be able to see that change. And to see that change in that character was just something I'd love to see. So, I'm very happy with my choice. I know some people won't be, but all the more reason for you to play it yourself. I'm, I'm pretty set in what I, what I got. I'm very, very pleased with it. There we are, at the beginning again. Here's your award. Congrats. You've completed the main storyline of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Why am I crying after reading that? Oh my god, I just went through the whole ending and that's what's gonna hit me. <laughs> what did I win? <laughs> Gorilla Arms. The key room to the Ebonique. Militech Berserk. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Tarot card judgment. Oh man, should I read one last tarot card for the road? Gosh. Let's see. Judgment is the card of renewal. The angel blowing into the horn heralds resurrection and liberation. This card foretells an important change that will result in healing or fulfillment. It is also a symbol of self-worth. All right. That's that. We're back to meeting Hanako at Embers. We've come full circle. Again, I can go on and on and on about how much I love this game and how much it means to me, but I'm pretty sure you get the message at this point. I mean, 40 episodes in, I've been doing nothing but singing this game's praises, and I will continue to do so, and I'll continue to replay this for another 500 hours, and it is currently 11.57 p.m., December 31st, 2023. Huh. So, yeah. This is how I'm spending my new year, and I'm super happy with it. This game means so much to me, and it means so much that you guys took the time out of your day to watch it, to enjoy this with me. Truly just a brilliant game. I'm sure there's a thousand other things I want to say, but I can't think of them right now because I'm just, my brain is scattered. I feel like I've said everything I've needed to say. It's, it's bittersweet that it's ending. But anyways, two more minutes left of 2023. Thank you so much for watching. Time to go party like it's 2023. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll see you in another playthrough. Thanks for watching.